Being extremely wealthy is hardly the worst thing that can happen to a person, as is evident. In actuality, God only knows why most people enjoy obtaining what they want. Even the likes of the Rothschilds, Bezoses, Musk, and Gates of the world cannot possess all the things they want. Unless you count these 10 royal families. With their immense riches and political clout, they are an exception that proves the case and some of the most prominent individuals on the globe. Here are the 10 richest royal families in the world. Number 10. Saudi Arabia's House of Saud with a massive fortune of $1.7 trillion, House of Saud is the wealthiest royal family in the world. And they don't exactly keep it a secret. Being the country with the largest oil reserves and all, it's clear where their money came from. And although $1.7 trillion is a considerable sum, it loses some significance because it includes 15,000 additional family members. It's unlikely the money's evenly distributed. But if it was, that's still slightly over $113 million per person. Talk about retiring your family for life. Naturally, the royal family has a lavish taste and unquestionably knows how to lead a rich and elegant lifestyle. The Saad family basically believes that everything that is not golden is unworthy of their attention. That includes furniture, vehicles, and bolts made entirely of gold. Do they possess a golden bicycle? Probably. Their real estate assets are as extensive as one might imagine, including excellent property in France, the UK, and other countries. The family also has a reputation for paying too much for everything. The most recent addition that drew everyone's interest was the record-breaking amount they spent on Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi painting. The 500-year-old image cost them $450.3 million. Who knows what a Muslim family would do with a picture of Jesus Christ? My guess is that they are attempting to diversify their income away from just oil export. It's a clever move on their side that demonstrates their success is due not just to the enormous wealth of the nation they dominate, but also to their innovative commercial expertise and cunning investments. Number 9. United Kingdom's House Windsor The British royal family has long since outgrown its role as straightforward royals and has evolved into a supergroup as pop culture has adopted the queen and her eccentric headwear. The royal family is worth approximately $88 billion, most of which is held in British real estate. The family owns a collection of assets worth almost $10 billion, including prestigious residences like Windsor Manor and the infamous Buckingham Palace. The king or queen is often the wealthiest member of the royal families, but this isn't the case with the Windsors. Even the richest of them will never succeed to the throne. The $500 million of the queen are just 10% of the $5 billion wealth of her great-granddaughters. Princess Charlotte, who is just six years old, has incredible fortune due to her parents' efforts to make her a young fashion hero. The British royal family would never be seen flashing money around. They are treated like royalty, of course, but unlike their more lavish counterparts from across the world, they don't have golden automobiles, revolutionary battleships converted into yachts, or dancing zebras that can recite God Save the Queen while tossing hedgehogs and standing on a large ball, or at least they don't show it to the public. Number 8. House Liechtenstein You will have trouble locating this little principality on a map if you are not from Austria or Switzerland. Across the Rhine River in the Alps, Liechtenstein is an independent state on a small piece of land just 5 miles broad and 16 miles long. This tiny state is nestled between Switzerland and Austria in the middle of jagged mountain peaks. And yet, it is among the richest nations in the world. So naturally, the Liechtenstein family, who controls it, is among the wealthiest families in Europe and globally. With a net worth of around $4.3 billion, Prince John Adam II of Liechtenstein is the name on the most royal possessions. The family's enormous revenue comes from the family-owned LTG Group and is completely tax-free, which is one advantage of being the ruler of your own land. 
The prince also owns a sizable collection of expensive properties, including castles and palaces spread across Austria and the Czech Republic. Number 7. House Maktoum, Dubai For about 200 years, the Maktoum family has been in charge of the Emirati of Dubai. During that period, they transformed a section of barren desert into a haven for the richest. The family amassed enormous riches totaling $19 billion throughout this shift. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the leader of the dynasty and the ruler of Dubai, is by far the richest of them all. At the same time, his entrepreneurial flair increased his riches by four times over time. The Sheikh also knows how to have a good time. The fruit doesn't fall too far from the tree in his son's case. Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum owns a massive collection of rare golden automobiles. But cars are not the flashiest item in Hamdan's garage. He also has a squadron of highly luxurious tanks. Apparently, they constructed such vehicles for the wealthy oil magnates to enjoy desert joyrides. Number 6. House Alawit, Morocco With origins going back to the 13th century, this family is one of the oldest on the list. Since they have ruled Morocco for the past five centuries, it comes as no surprise that this has been a very profitable business. The 19 members of the Moroccan royal family have a total worth of more than $20 billion. That's almost a billion each if it were evenly divided. But the monarch, who receives an annual salary of about half a million dollars in addition to all of his assets and his commercial activities, owns the lion's share of everything. Not bad for showing up to events and waving to the audience. However, this hefty payment only covers half a month's worth of the family Fez Palace's maintenance expenses. Around $960,000 is considered the manor's annual running budget. Most kings would only need one palace. However, King Mohammed IV has 12 palaces, each costing an average of $550,000 a year. Number 5. House Bukir Bruni Despite British and foreign occupations, Bruni's royal dynasty of House Bukir has held power for almost eight centuries. They accomplished a great deal during that period, primarily for themselves rather than the nation and its residents. The Bukirs, estimated to be worth $30 billion, have very peculiar taste, even when it comes to lavish royalties. A handful of people would pay $21,000 for a haircut, but the monarch of Bruni adores it, at least. He leaves extremely substantial tips. One of the Bruni leader's most outrageous buys is a $400 million private plane that he adorned with an additional $120 million worth of gold. It's a miracle how this thing keeps flying. These costs might seem a little ridiculous, but for a man making $147 every second, they amount to mere pennies. Number 4. House Aduladé, Thailand His Majesty Bomi Bol Aduladé is the head of the Thai royal family. Their enormous fortune, estimated to be worth $60 billion, was primarily made possible by the Crown Property Agency. This holding, which manages the royal funds, receives over half its assets. Since Bumibol's ascent to the throne, the royal family has lost much of its popularity in Thailand. The nation is now looking for a democratic change due to his lavish spending, luxurious life, and borderline irrational and outrageous actions. When it came time to say his ultimate goodbye to his dog, for instance, Bumibol didn't spare anything. The pet memorial service lasted four days and cost millions of dollars. Additionally, the monarch loves to spend money on himself and shows little concern for the nation's governance. Number 3. House Nayan of Abu Dhabi, the Abu Dhabi royal family. The family commanded by His Majesty Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayan is estimated to be worth $150 billion. And as you would have anticipated, the oil trade is the primary source of income. The family controlled many seven-star hotels in addition to Dubai's Burj Khalifa, the highest skyscraper in the world. The Nahin family doesn't reside in a rundown shack as one might expect, but rather in a magnificent mansion with all manner of luxuries. 
The largest royal palace in the world, Qasar al Palace Watan, costs over $2 billion, covering a staggering 380,000 square meters with real estate, yachts, vehicles, and aircraft worth billions of dollars. The Abu Dhabi royal family undoubtedly understands how to lead a privileged life. Number 2. House of Tani of Qatar. At age 41, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid al Thani is the world's youngest monarch at the moment. With an estimated worth of about $335 billion, he nonetheless heads the third richest royal family. Of course, the export of fossil fuels is the primary source of revenue. Furthermore, the family owns a sizable amount of property in the UK and holds stock in the New York City landmark Empire State Building. Tani has made significant investments in high growth industries and holds a sizable stake in luxury firms like Barclays and Tiffany & Co, as well as automakers like Volkswagen. The King of Qatar obviously has a taste for luxury. The family stays in the greater than $1 billion royal palace in Doha. Numerous ceremonial and residential courtyards may be found inside the palace. Not only that, but it's also interesting to note that the Qatar family owns more real estate in the United Kingdom than the British royal family. The Tani family has spent billions on elegance and class with its vast collection of cars, jets, and other luxurious possessions. They allegedly even bought the approval of the FIFA authorities to hold the World Cup Finals in 2022. Knowing how trustworthy and dependable soccer officials worldwide are, I have no reason to doubt that this is the case. And number one, House of Al-Sabah of Kuwait. The Al-Sabah family has dominated the nation for the last 300 years during which time they have amassed a massive $360 billion fortune. His Majesty Sheikh Saba Al Ahmad Al Yaba Al Saba is the current emir and the family leader. Even though oil exports account for a sizable percentage of their wealth, the family gains significantly from investments worldwide. Since the 1980s, especially in America, corporations have been making targeted investments that are now reaping enormous rewards. The family is well known for leading an extravagant lifestyle. Exotic animals and other things few people can afford are part of their luxurious life. The family has abandoned culture, despite having funded a 775 million cultural center, which is an architectural marvel in and itself. There is an opera house, theater, library, and meeting rooms within. That is how you maintain your culture while using every luxury that the West has to offer. All right, if you were born into one of these families, which family would it be and why? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Mr. Exclusive, and we'll see you in the next one.